Probably. Hello everyone, and welcome back to La Molina 2. We teleported. Maybe. I was trying to figure out where the golden key, I mean the pochad key was, and uh, I don't remember, so I kinda just went looking for various shops and stuff, and I remember I hadn't gotten this one, so yeah. But since I really don't remember much more than that, um, let's go somewhere else. There's technically one exit from here that we haven't gone to. <coughs> because of course it has even more exits, right? Like there's the soul gate, <laughs> the exit down to Anovin, the exit uh, to the top left to Anovin, the exit to the top center to the Ice Fire Tree Top, and this one. Sometimes I hate you, game. Mm -hmm. At least I didn't fall all the way down like three floors. How do you get Fair into enough. the room back there? I guess you gotta just grab onto the column and take a leap of faith? Haha, <laughs> what am I, a ninja? No, but I am. I find it hilarious. It's just like... Um... Especially with the pillars that you can um, flip around on, that you apparently can, uh, you know, see past them and whip around on them, but you can't just walk past them. Right. Welcome to another part of the Immortal Battlefield. It's all over the damn place. Yep. Up with a drone. Ow. What is it? Or come with your research papers. Feel free to pause as usual. <laughs> That's gonna be something I open the wiki for later. Probably. Oh wow, well, an angel don't get close to it. There are as many malapply prayer beads as worldly desires. The beads weave together those those whose desires drive them to fight tirelessly, even after their lives are exhausted. Hmm. Screenshot taken. Yeah. Friggin' traps. I mean, it's an ancient ruin. What would it be without, you know, a few hundred traps? Yeah, that's open now because you kill three bosses. Yay! And now we can open this. I was close. I'm gonna write the elevator again because there was a tablet up there. There exists a gate to the spiral boat, a gate sealed by nine souls somewhere within Eglana. Screenshot taken. And the way up there leads over to where the Lamp of Time will is, but, you know, can't really do much with that yet because we don't have the gear. Also, one little hint, believe. <laughs> what do you think it means? That's a hard one. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Welcome to the Takamagahara Shrine. Oh boy, we're clearly in Japanese in Mythos now. Yep. As if the Tori Shrines didn't give it away. Right. Kami Musubi. We, Kotoha Matsu, are at war with the Anunnaki, the Sky People. The Anunnaki are attempting to take over our world. This is no time for the various children to be fighting against each other. However, no one here will hear my words, so I have decided to hide here and barricade myself behind multiple walls. I am um, sorry about that. Uh, yo, they a snake. Yup, first children. You know, the mother was not very thorough about her whole killing off each each uh, generation, mostly. What is that? That was pointless. What the fuck is that? Well, I'm about to kill it so you get a glossary entry. You're doing a great job at it. Stupid blue skeleton, get out already. No, he knows you're there. There we go. <coughs> the Kuda gets in there. A small fox that looks like a squirrel. They're so small they can hide their bodies in an arrow too. Good at Gitsune are magical servants who will attack humans if ordered to. It's an asshole. Yeah, female first child. A woman who's supported Aminomanakanushi, I think. The firstborn of the first children. She's far older than she appears. She created the Kotomatsu to resist the Anunnaki. The sky people who are trying to destroy the mother, La Mulana. About that! With her strength law, she barricaded herself behind multiple walls in the pit to heaven. Yo, so, uh. About that whole trying to destroy the mother thing. We might have kinda broken the barricade. Sorry about that. That's not the only thing that's broken. Eh, that too. The mother might also be broken. So I think if I... There we go. Yeah, that's very easy to miss for a lot of people. <laughs> Which is kind of a shame because that's where the Holy Grail is. <laughs> <coughs> So most people go through a pretty big area of this... I mean, pretty big part of this area without finding the Holy Grail. Anyway, from the foot of the fall towards the seizure. Special taken, also. I'm just gonna... Make a bit of space at least. Your turn. A gunin, or uh, <coughs> gun, whatever. Monks with the head of a dog and wings of a bird. They harbor no particular ill will towards humans, but show no mercy to any who dare pillage their territory. They use staves, staves, whatever, to channel divine magic to control fire. So, like, you're not doing anything wrong. You just have to be passing through, right? Yeah, totally. Unfortunately, passing through counts as pillaging to them. Probably. This is Takamaga Hara Shrine, a land buried by the walls of those who have closed their hearts off to others. Shortcut. I forgot to press that button there. 
Daji, the wielder of the nine tails. The time during which you might do battle is limited. Daji waits in the execution room. Hmm. And go back there that way, so I guess I'm just gonna have to... You know... Actually, it would be a lot faster to use that one the other way, but... Well, we're here, let's play oh, a uh, visit to Mulbrook. Assuming she's awake? Yeah. Nope. That's um, some... Okay. But she probably has some new lines. That's an interesting new line. But yeah, it would be a lot faster to use to this. I guess she's ticklish in her sleep. And her dreams. I can think about... Think too hard about who's tickling her, right? Of course we're not gonna think about it too hard. It's not exactly much of a question. <laughs> yeah. But can I reach... Raw, unbridled lesbianism intensifies. Just gonna keep that mark, not like we can do anything with it yet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm literally just here to press that button so I can get them up. <laughs> Actually, shouldn't have pressed that because... Oh no, no, I, I did... Okay. Yay, map! That's an interesting shape. I am not going Boy, to go to the right there. Not yet, at least. Boy, she is convenient. Yeah, something like that. You gotta wonder who designs places like this. Watch out! Boy, the lack of eye frames hurts, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Wow, the dude on this mirror's one, one handsome son of, son of a bitch! You get distracted for one second and... If you say so. Well, more glossary entries. Let's see. An enemy. Souls of men who died unnatural deaths and were never laid to rest. They spread illness and calamity and they take on any form, having no true body. In Aglana, they take the form of demonic beasts. I mean, they still bleed, don't they? I mean, and I didn't see eye. any blood, but I did, kin I did kill them anyway. <laughs> Evil spirits composed of smoke. They take the form of eyeballs cloaked in poison and smoke. Weapons simply slide through the smoke when attacked. You just didn't try hard enough. Yeah, I mean, I still killed them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Satya Yuga is the gold age when all virtue is overflowing. Screenshot taken. Sacred Orb! More health! Belaya la No pressure, right? Uh, one of the Olympians! 
the third children who sold herself to the darkness of Eglana. She guards a hidden relic from the taken from the Kota Matsu. The chariot she drives rages a light and she herself flings forth balls of fire. So it's Rin. No. Rin's cute. Yeah, fair enough. Uh. Well done. I did not remember that one. Why are you swimming bad? <laughs> Why are you bad? It's a better question. Uh, the, the answer is yes. At least you don't have to go through everything again. Eh, not everything. Had to say something, didn't we? <laughs> Damn, though! Yeah, that room kinda likes to combo you. <laughs> Fucking wombo combo your ass. Why don't you heal? I'm just gonna get them up and then heal and instead of trying to go further. Because you know, the map's the only reason I'm taking that route instead of just you know. to Takamaga Hara Shrine, which is in fact a front side. Hmm. I don't remember what its back side is. Oh, oh wait, I think I remember. Oh, better than me, obviously. Well, yeah. Oh, money. Corsia Floor for killing me! I will reincarnate and turn you into ceiling tiles and cheese tip! P.S. Get Floor based cheese tip recipe. P.P.S. Make sure to reincarnate and not get killed by the floor. You know, when you have time for that, you got Bert, a lot of time. Yep. Bear the small key. The secret will be laid there. Which means there's something nearby that requires the. Um, the key fairy. Hello, Isanagi. Hmm. Goodbye, Isanagi. He's not a chatty fellow, is he? Nope. I think there's a secret shop here. The short of this. Also, I can't get. I cannot get back up there. Oh well. Huh, I can break those with the uh, right here.
Well, there's a chest there. Yeah, just gotta get it open. Mm-hmm. something here. No shit. I wonder if it's like here. No, it couldn't be. <gasps> it is. What you got? Oh, hey. Our stuff sucks, but buy it anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. Born from the Cooney Master. He's kind of a jerk. Speaking There's of which... <laughs> The current leader of the Kodomatsu. He does not speak to outsiders. Perhaps as many races do not believe in fighting the Sky People. Yet he also has a passionate side. There is an anecdote which relates his visit to the underworld, unable to forget his wife who died in childbirth. Rude. An ash green. One of the first children who rejected the Chimera experience, choosing instead to rigorously hone his own body as a warrior. Somewhere along the way, he got sidetracked by a new hobby of collecting strange armor, a steel groin protecting pipe, an eye patch, a toy trollobite, etc., etc. Hmm. Okay then. The labyrinth of the wind, wherein the celestial disc is housed, a response will be given to the word that represents heaven. Well, we know that word. In Valhalla are twelve thrones worthy of lords, but there is only one throne for the true lord. One throne to rule them all. Hmm. There the banner's hidden relic, the knowledge from the sky, sleeps. Have you noticed how there's like thrones hanging around the entire yeah, area? Yeah, I noticed. HP or some. Okay, yeah, I can destroy it from here. Well, you know, that should help. But I'm gonna go get the. this thing first. Olympian Guardian, the Griffin, overcome the falling Griffin statue and disrupt the rain. Have we read everything? Let's see, we read those. We read that. And we still need to kill another one of them. And the demons again. That's all right. Ok, 
can't really do much with that yet. Oh, that's all, isn't it? Yep. Daji hides the egg of creation. The god of creation Brahma's di dialogues on the nature of creation. The sight of the egg will steal recollection, and the god will speak again. So we know the egg of creation is tied to the Brahma puzzle, which we've seen some of before. The bread that Takemi Kazuchi left is ablaze, though it will be swept away by proof of the time of creation. Just gonna save that and. Uh, You know, we, we have the spot saved up, might as well uh, make use of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make an actual save here. You know, in case we die horribly. Should we here? Yeah. First of all, there's someone to speak to. Amino Tokotachi. That's a lot of that's a lot of syllables. Takamagahara Shrine was used to seal away the sky people, the Anunnaki. However, this power has waned, and now their soldiers are making their way here. Be especially cautious of the one called Daji with the power of the Chimera. He also guards the machine of knowledge and the item known as the egg of creation, which he hides on his person. I still find it funny that they just kind of assume that's what, that all is what you're there for, and they're just gonna tell you it right away. This room doesn't look familiar at all, does it? No, no, not at all. That opened uh, another exit there. In case you were wondering what it does. <laughs> and, um. Yeah. He kinda hits like a truck. <coughs> That's a word for it. But I'm just gonna go save. Cause you know we did do some progress. Kinda. Yeah, not to mention that ceiling was coming down on you. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to survive. <laughs> I don't remember the best way to... Gun. I can't spend all my money on a nap, so. Oh, well, I guess we're going. I guess we're going here now. How blinded by gold do you have to be? Well, there's that one again. Don't bother really the fucking name. long name. That's a dude. Yep. A sage from the era in which the first children prospered. His curiosity knew no bounds, and he ventured out from Lama Lana to the surface. Without the mother's power coursing through him, he grew weak and aged rapidly. Having seen and learned much about the world, it seems he was able to pick up on the true intentions of the sky people. Hmm. Hmm. And how is here now? Shita Teruhime. She's also rather quiet, huh? You could say. Princess, probably. A few more sage who became a recluse after the death of her husband. She closed herself off to such an extent because someone calling himself... Yeah, long word. Came home from the underworld in the form of her dead husband. 
Oh, yeah, that's that's uh dramatic. Benign eyes will not overlook opposition. They will totally tolerate standing before the object of your desires and that alone. Okay, it's just magma, magma, not poison magma. I was very scared for a moment there. I love the warning magma, no shit. Yeah, the way to open that is kinda dumb. You just kinda have to hit things and. Ancient Chaos! Hey then, interesting place. By the way, don't hit those pillars filled with with gold everywhere. Uh, that red eye is like, you know, pain. That's a word for it. That's points of magma, is something. I can't tell. Smurfs. A giant known as the King of the Bird, which is in fact very beautiful. With enough vitality to live over a thousand years, his feathers are set his feathers are set to have powers of healing. The Simurg and Aglana, however, has been poisoned by chaos and will attack humans. Alright, we did uh, get to a small section of ancient chaos to the corridor of blood. At night, the malicious spirit of Kisikililake hounds, her blue servant and her red eyes and her red servant administer punishment. Hmm. Yeah, that's poison lava. How am I still alive? That was quite clutch right there. That's a word for it. Yeah, uh, I am not going back there. Also, it's a pretty good time to wrap it up anyway, so yeah, I hope you'll have fun and next time we'll keep on looking because we have way too many places to go to anyway. Bye bye. Oh, exploring ancient ruins. Bye-bye. <laughs>